up how nice it is. Like I knew it wouldn't have graffiti, but I think that's a Banksy. Hi, uh, are you Mac? I think you're my Bayside buddy. You're supposed to show me around? Oh, awesome. Hey, would you be able to lay down in the parking spot overnight so my friend and me can't park in it tomorrow? <laughs> Time out. What did that blonde fool just say to me? Hi, Daisy. They accidentally put me in regular English last week, but now I'm where I belong in a class of fellow high achievers. Hey, buddy. <gasps> Wait, you're in honors English? Duh, it's an honor to teach me. Before we start, I'm gonna collect your summer reading assignments. Wait, summer reading? No one told me about summer reading. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know we had an assignment, but if you could give me a one-day extension, I could read the whole book tonight and hand in my report first thing tomorrow morning. What? Don't be silly. No one expects you to do that. Uh, I'm not asking for special treatment. I can do the work. Daisy, this is honors English. I think you'll find it plenty hard without taking on extra assignments. Time out. She obviously thinks I can't do it, but no need to freak out. I'm cool. I just don't want you to struggle to catch up. You couldn't possibly be Don't tell me what I'm possible of. Sure. Why don't you do the assignment? Sounds great. Good morning. Joyce White Lady? It's pronounced Wit Lady. <laughs> What's your name, girlfriend? Um, I'm Daisy Jimenez. You might have heard of me. I'm class president. <gasps> you are? Aww, good for you. Time out. Now, I've met a lot of Joyce White Ladies in my life. She has good intentions, but she's gonna make me feel like crap. Like by trying to bond with me by saying something she heard a black guy say on Project Runway. Okay, here's the tea, sis. Hey, you look rough. I stood up all night working on my report, but I'm almost done. If I can convince my bio teacher that I have diarrhea, I can hide in the bathroom all first period and finish. Did I hear diarrhea? <laughs> we can get you medicine if you don't have insurance. I'm fine. Oh, please, we really want to help. We have typing classes, prom dresses, cans of corn. Please! Oh, long story short, I faked my own death and hooked up with the hot mortician. Listen, I've loved all 87 of these stories, but can you please just tell me where I can get my textbooks? Yeah, we're here. Bayside is 99% paperless, so getting your books is kind of a pain in the ass. Ugh, it took forever. But what if I don't have one of those? What if I can't do a boop boop? Don't have? What is, what is that? Look, I know that this school has problems, but it's our first day. Exactly, and it's already unfair. If you don't have an iPad, if you ride the bus, if you're not one of them, you're set up to fail. We need someone to fight for us who knows us. That's why I have to be student council president, now more than ever. But you know your posters have to be in by tomorrow. What? Who said? Uh, they sent out a message about it on the Bayside student app. What the hell's a Bayside student app? You see, we're set up to fail. You know, some of us don't have smartphones because their moms say they're too expensive and al menos se puede tomar fotos pornográfico con este. I hate this school. And I hate this phone. It's okay. I worked hard on my posters. I'm still gonna put up my posters. Hey, where can I put up my posters? Hold on, Bron Bron. Did you not reserve wall space in the Bayside Student app? If you can make it one week without hitting on Bayside, I'll give you 50 bucks. Ooh, I've been hanging out with too many rich kids. I'll give you 50 cents. Deal, deal. Hey, ladies, I just met the hottest girl. Her name's Pamela, and she's a perfect 10. I mean, blonde hair, gorgeous mm. smile, and she just had really bad mono, so you know she does tongues. Hmm. Wow, what do you think about that, Daisy? Yeah. I think it's cool. Congratulations on your new love. Guys, I just met the girl of my dreams. Blonde hair, killer smile, recently mm. sick. It's the same girl. Wait, yo, j Dog, you also met a hot blonde this morning? That's mm. right. Do you think we, we should, should both ask, ask our separate, separate girls to the ice cream social, social on Friday, Friday night? night? Yes! yes. Frankenstein, a report by Mac Morris. Whoa. Frankenstein is a story of a man who creates a creature in his own image. My father and I, oh my God. I mean, he built on the mid-sentence and he clearly needs a billion dollars of therapy, but he actually listened to me. If Mac Morris can change- What up, El Stupido? Not racist, I call my mom that. 
Hey, that thing I was saying the other day about how nobody expects anything from you, I hate that feeling. And I shouldn't have tried to make you feel it too. Daisy, it means a lot to me. Now that you want a romantic relationship? Okay, nope, goodbye. I just think we're better as friends. I'm sorry you feel the opposite. Rule number one is spending money like a rich person. We can do better. No, we can do better. We can do better. We can do better. We can do even better. I don't work here. Oh. I know snapping is rude. I'm being a rich person. Don't judge me. Do you remember in middle school when you got your braids done for class pictures and you wanted to add pink hair? You didn't because you thought it looked too ghetto. But then our teacher, Miss Winston. Freaking Miss Winston. Esa perra siempre con esa camisa fea. Uh, right. She called your regular, not pink braids, ghetto anyway. Sometimes people are just Miss Winston's. Some of the Bayside kids are gonna paint all the Douglas kids with the same brush no matter what we do. Devontae did a bad thing. But you're blaming him for how those other kids are making you feel. Daisy, I get that you're worried about college, but you have way too many extracurriculars. You're president of the Science Club and the Flat Earth Society. There's two sides to every story, and maybe, just maybe, two sides to this Earth. Right. Daisy. Colleges are not impressed by how many random clubs you join. They want to know who you are. A fun, normal teen who hasn't had a moment of relaxation since first grade? No, you are student council president. A leader, focus on that. There's actually a very competitive summer leadership program I think you'd be perfect for. It's eight weeks of seminars hosted by inspirational women. Last year's keynote address was delivered in unison by the cast of Big Little Lies. Oh my God. That sounds amazing. And it's a fellowship, which means all expenses paid, including lodging and airfare to New York, plus a per diem for bagels. But I can't be away from my family for that long. Mm, I get it. My husband's been in Arizona for the past three months on a writer's retreat, and it's tough. It's not about missing them. My mom needs me to babysit my brother, and I usually get a summer job. Ah, uh, well, that's different. Daisy, I don't know anything about your family situation, but I do know about being a mom. And all moms want the best for their kid's future. Just talk to her. Look over the application together and maybe she'll sign the permission slip. Or what if instead I threw the application into the wind and if she finds it, it's God's will. <laughs>